this switch is normally to find out the pressure in industry switch as a this is just automatically mechanical control limit switch for example some limit temperature is reached then it is going to be open or it's going to be closed all right as well as some pressure is there it reached to some level means then the limit is crossed means it is going to be change the position change the position like that it is going to be on and off this particular uh, circuit circuit right so this one he is it's going to be controlled automatically automatically by taking the pressure position and temperature few 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 input variables here for example this for example something pressure pressure right somewhere if you want to measure right this is the temperature for the temperature sensor right somewhere here is the position position element right example i will given right here if you connect some bellows here with mechanical element mechanical element right mechanical element right whenever if you give some pressure on this particular one what will happen due to this pressure bellow is going to be expanded like that it is this mechanical element is going to be provide some force on this particular this particular edge this edge is there this edge on this edge this force is going to be acting due to this particular pressure this due to this particular pressure for example temperature is there if you want to use for the temperature to sense the temperature here you are going to be connect some uh, some element right like by by metallic strip that is going to be used in thermostat thermo thermostat all right so what will happen this thermostat depending upon the temperature this my by metallic strip is going to be bend towards like this due to that this mechanical force is going to be acting on this particular cam it is cam here is actuating device right depending upon the input input here it is acting force once again due to this temperature variation the this my by metallic strip is going to be expand or contract expand or contract due to this expansion some pressure is going to be act on this particular this particular edge this particular edge on the cam right here also for example this is the position sensor for example this is connected to some lv dt lv dt right due to the variation of position variation of position in this particular one core element is there that is going to be moved like this whenever it's moved like this this force is going to be act on this particular cam that's actuating element right so to understand this one uh, we need little bit more uh, basics about the sensors but finally here i want to give you uh, simple example is that so in uh, uh, bathroom flushes right so water is once you press like this water is going to be out right so once again whenever total water is completed this is going to be get the re reposition that is mechanical type floating type sorry mechanically floating type element arrangement is there internally to open and to close the valve to open and close the valve here i i, I give you intention is what my intention is what so limit switch limit switch is you are going to be set some limit to this particular pressure over here pressure over here here we are going to set some temperature limit temperature limit here you are going to set some position limit position limit right whenever you cross at this particular pressure right for example you give 20 bar pressure as a limit 20 bar pressure as a limit whenever it is crossed 20 bar right this is going to give input pores on this particular terminal that means on this particular cam input pores is going to be vary with pressure acting on this particular below right so this pressure is increasing from 0 bar to 20 bar like this then what will happen correspondingly pores is going to be acting on this particular cam this particular actuating device on the cam right so then what will happen whenever this particular limited for example this is the zero position zero bar this is the position then for example for five bar this is going to be move little bit more then by 20 bar it is going to be totally it is out of control this is out of this is uh, this is pressure 20 bar pressure whenever you act on this particular cam then what will happen this totally 
is going to be get this position this position all right this position so up to that time this is for example this normally open normally open open type open type uh, limit switch then what will happen it is going to be closed that means normally open means this is the normally open all right so whenever this is crossed this pressure is going to be act on this particular one and this switch is going to be closed this switch is going to be closed then what will happen this input supply is acting like a input to the particular terminal for example this is the limit switch if you connect as the input terminal for the input terminal here you connect input this one is the limit switch for example limit switch limit switch symbol is what this one symbol this is the line voltage right normally open condition up to 20 bar up to 20 bar once it is reached 20 bar right is going to be actuating device is totally out of control then this now this mechanical arrangement is moved like this by that time pressure is acting on this particular one switch normally if it is normally open switch pressure is acting on that particular one then it is going to be closed then what will happen some line voltage whatever the voltage is there that is acting like a input to this particular terminal internally it is going to be conditioned that particular signal output is going to be 1 equivalent 5 volts DC to the CPU to the CPU right to the for example if there is no an input pressure that means limit is not reached 20 bar 20 bar that is 0 bar or 1 bar or 2 bar and the up to that case it is in this condition only cam is not totally out of control this actuating device is always moving in proportional to the force acting on this particular end right whenever it is cross 20 this is totally out of control that is the reason internal mechanical element is turning like this accordingly force is acting on internal contacts right that it is going to be closed for example it is normally closed contact this is a normally closed limit switch for example in the that is going to be vary with the design this is going to be vary with the design as like push button as like push button this is normally open push button this one is the this one is the normally closed push button if you apply pressure on this this is going to be used to connect the contacts this is whenever pressure is acting on this one this is normally to open the contact right this is going to depending upon the mechanical design right like that for the limit switch also for this particular limit switch also normally open type you can design normally closed type you can design for example it is normally open type whenever this is cross at the limit what will happen this is going to be closed contact then what will happen previously also we discussed right whenever this is closed limit switch is closed then what will happen line voltage is acting like input to terminal whenever input signal is come as a input to the this IO module this IO module what will happen internal condition signal condition will take place and 5 volts DC is going to be given right after for example if you go for the this particular temperature sensor this temperature sensor also for example use use thermostat right depending upon the temperature for example limit is set at 20 degrees Celsius 20 degrees Celsius right if you give 0 volts as a input to the temperature sensor what will happen the thermostat is same position it is not going to be bent it is not going to be bent means it is not going to be create any force on this particular edge right if for example 0 degree Celsius means input is 0 input is 0 force is 0 on this particular actuating element then what will happen this mechanical element this mechanical element is not going to be change any position any position then what will happen is normally open means it normally open only if normally open means this switch this is normally open means what will happen there is no input to this particular terminal if there is no input to this particular terminal means what will happen 0 volts as input to this particular terminal output is what 0 volts DC that is sorry this is uh, this this is input to the 0 volts is input to the CPU CPU that means CPU can understand that temperature is less than 20 degrees only right if you for example this is the 5 degree 5 degree temperature in this atmosphere what will happen 5 degree for 5 degrees it is giving some force that means it is thermostat is going to be bending little bit towards the bimetallic strip it is bending some force is going to be act on this particular 
terminal. That means that force is acting on this particular terminal. Then what will happen? It is cam. This actuating element will move little bit, but it is not poised. It is not going to be closed, right? It is in the little bit this position, this position. Then if it is increases to 15 degrees, maybe this is in this position due to that responding corresponding force acting on this particular terminal, right? Here only, right? So once it is crossed 20 degrees, 20 degrees, then what will happen? Corresponding bend is getting in the, the bimetallic strip present in the thermostat, thermostat, right? Corresponding force is going to be act on this particular terminal, terminal. Then what will happen? It's which is going to be crossed that particular limit. That is the reason this mechanical ele element is lose this position, right? It is moved to this position. Whenever this move to this position, it is giving some force on this particular force on this particular limit switch. It is going to be closed. Once it is closed, what will happen? This line voltage is acting like input to the this particular terminal. Internal circuitry is conditioning that particular one. Then output you are going to get the 5 volts DC. Then what it is going to understand? CP is going to be understand. This is reach 20 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius. That means here you kept for the limit 20 degrees. Here you get left for the 20 bar. Here you are going to get for example 5 centimeters position. Right. Up to 5 centimeters whatever the force acting on that, that is not enough to reposition this particular mechanical element. Right. So, this cam is correspondingly actuating this mechanical arrangement. Once it is crossed limit, then it is going to be regain its original, original position like that it is going to be closed, closed. Up to that time that is 0 only. That means what? Whenever you connect limit switch, limit switch to this particular any one terminal of the input module up to limit reach it is not going to be closed up to limit reach output is zero output is zero this zero this zero once it is cross limit it is going to be closed then this line voltage acting like input to this particular terminal conditioning will take place output is going to get the 5 volts dc that means what its output is 1 that is acting like input to the CPU. Based on this input data, it is going to be work. For example, if this is going to be connected to the output module, output module, right, it is going to be connected to the one motor, one motor, right. So, up to this temperature, for, for, for example, here if you connect heater, if you connect heater, anything you can connect, for example, if you connect heater, right, so temperature sensor you are using, up to this uh, up 20 degrees Celsius, this heater is going to be on condition, on condition. That means what? Up to this 0, if it is 0, this heater is going to be on condition. Once it is reached 5, close condition, close condition, what will happen? 5 volts DC is going to get, right? If it is input is low, correspondingly open of limit switch, which is going to be sensing temperature data, temperature data, it is going to, heater is going to be on. Right. Once it is reached 20 degree Celsius, it is going to be closed, output is high. Whenever output is high, it is just off the heater, off the heater. This offing and awning is going to be controlled by the what program you are going to write in the CPU. Right. So, like that, like that, this is giving input data to the CPU, input data to the CPU. Based on input data, whatever the way you want to control output actuator, based on that, you need to write a program. That program is going to be executed. It is going to be switching on and off the heater, right? In the similar way, whatever the thing, whatever the thing. But here is that, they, why this is very important device means, normally in industries, wherever you go, right? For example, if you want to fill the liquid in the tank or if you want to heat up to some temperature or like that, anything. Right. If you consider liquid level you are going to sense, once it is reached some limit, then off the motor. For example, temperature is going to be increased, but means heater present in the tank is going to be on up to some limit, then off. Right. In all cases, you can use this particular limit switch mechanically, automatically, mechanically controlled limit switch. For this limit switch, you can connect. Operating force may get from the any arrangement. So, here is from the temperature present pressure arrangement here by using the temperature arrangement by using some position arrangement like that anything you can connect to this particular one. But it is going to be provide some force on the 
this mechanical I, you, you need to design some circuitry mechanical circuitry in such a manner that that gives some force on this particular actuator that is cam here based on that actuation up to some limit it is in this position after that limit it is come to this position whenever this come to this position it is acting some force like that is going to be open and close this particular normally open and normally closed limit switches right? so why i stressed more on this particular limit switch means in industries normally maximum places this limit switch is going to be used and is giving input signal to the input module of the plc input module of the plc right so this dual switches are there dip switches are there normally we can see here also in the room these are the switches to connect and disconnect the input supply to the terminal right so this is about the limit switch right so but normally to uh, explain little bit more we need more time but according to the plc point of view no need to know uh, uh, this much most uh, that means more about this particular background of sensor design and all the things finally what you need to understand that up to some limit this limit switch is going to be open or closed condition depending upon the internally its open contact or closed contact after that it is going to be change its state if it is open it's going to be closed it's giving input signal if it is normally open contact whenever input is cross limit it is going to be closed right so open like, like that it is going to be operated anything anything you can take as a input input right so this is about the limit switch